Everyman Driver Nation, what is going on? It's so good to have you today. I'm Nolan. Today I've got the 2019 Nissan Rogue. This is the SL trim. There's the S, the SV, the SL, and this one's got a lot of features on it. We've got LED headlights. Those are optional equipment. We've got some pretty big wheels. You've got fog lights. Those are just halogen, but got turn signals in the mirrors. Those mirrors even turn and tilt down when you're in reverse. That's pretty nice. We've got uh, some other cool stuff that I'm going to show you on the inside. The I'm gonna show you the engine. I'm gonna show you how this rear lift gate goes and all the storage space there is. Can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. Let's start things off by looking under the hood. So under the hood of the Nissan Rogue, there's really nothing all that special. There's just a prop rod, no hydraulics, but it gives you the typical 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Paired with the CVT, you'll get 170 horsepower, 175 pound feet of torque, 25 miles per gallon in the city and 32 on the highway with all wheel drive like we have right here. We'll take it for a test drive in the full review if you wanna see that. Nissan gives you a smart key system on the middle trim and up. It gives you remote start. Uh, is that focusing? I don't think it's focusing, but it gives you remote start and it actually activates the climate control, which is pretty cool. So there's a little button that you push to unlock or lock the door. No hand sensor or anything, but let's hop in. My five foot nine self, never have, I never have any trouble in the front seat for headspace. As you can see, I've got tons of it. The seat's not all the way down or all the way up. The seats themselves are really comfortable. I really like them. Nissan calls them zero gravity seats and they definitely feel like it. They're very plush and we even have a quilted leather pattern on the inside of the seats. Let me give you a quick look. Our seats even have a memory function. We've got a soft armrest. It's even soft up here for your elbow bottle holder. Steering wheel is leather wrapped and our particular steering wheel is heated as well. Let's go ahead and start it up. Push button start. We've got a display in the middle that you can control with the steering wheel. So that's a plus, pretty similar to uh, some other steering wheels as well. I'm gonna quickly scroll through a few things here. You've got a trip computer and some other information that's actually you know, something I didn't expect how much it actually provides. There's a seven inch screen over here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. As you can see, you've got some actual buttons, some actual volume and tuning knob. So it doesn't really look the best, but it's very functional and works well. Dual zone climate control up here. Little storage bin down there, electronic parking brake and brake hold button. USB auxiliary, 12 volt power outlet, typical shifter for your Nissan. The bottle holders are okay. They don't have any uh, anything to really accommodate smaller drinks, but they work fine. Heated seats, armrest is nice and soft and it's a decent size in there as well. There are sunglass holders, really large visors as well, which is cool and they slide and a panoramic sunroof, which is kind of neat, but there's one hindrance and I'll show you that in the back seat. Now hopping into the back seat of the Rogue, let's see what we got in terms of space. I'm five foot nine and when I'm sitting up tall, I don't have a lot of space. There's kind of a pretty significant drop down and I think a big part of that is because of this panoramic roof. So I personally would probably go without it if you wanna have taller passengers back here, but otherwise anybody shorter than me should be fine. Here's a look at how much knee space I have right here. Pretty good knee space, decent foot space. There's no USBs or power outlets back here, but you get uh, charging ports. You also get oak blank handles on each side. The seats themselves are really comfortable. You've still got the quilted pattern in here and they're really soft. My passengers have really liked that. One annoying thing is we have a center armrest, but you have to pull that in order to get it out and you can't really do it with one hand. But when I get that down, it gives you a pass through for the uh, cargo area, couple cup holders, not really a nice armrest, but at least you get a couple cup holders. They call these things crossovers because they've kind of crossed over from being an actual SUV to a CUV and there's utility in that name. So you've got to use the cargo space and it's nice with this top model actually with the sv trim you get that power lift gate with just the foot activated motion and under here there's actually quite a bit of space i've got some equipment back here some stuff but back here there's just under 40 cubic feet and then when you fold all the seats down you've got about 70 cubic feet so pretty good space and this actually has a spare tire under here you can move these to uh, uh there's two different trays that you can move and they call it divide and hide. I'll show you more of that in the full review. So please be sure to check that out. But overall, it's a pretty nice, spacious cargo area. So wrapping things up with the 2019 Nissan Rogue, this particular model, the SL, we've got the premium package. We've got the uh, platinum reserve package on the inside with those pretty awesome seats. 
it clocks in at about $36,000, which is still actually a little bit less than uh, RAV4 that I saw recently, than uh, the CX-9 that I had, but it definitely doesn't have quite as many features as those in some ways, but it still offers quite a bit. And I can definitely tell why people buy this thing. It's got a lot of space, it's really comfortable, it's still pretty efficient. My biggest complaint is that it's just, uh, it feels underpowered, especially when you have people in there, but overall, I think it's a really good offering and it's aged really well. I'm excited to see what Nissan brings next. If you want to see the full test drive and detailed review, please head over to my channel. Otherwise, thank you all so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.